See, see, we, we have to understand that, 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 that our message is not just about us, but, but our message is a revelation of what God has done in Christ so as to save people from sin. God has provided a Savior who didn't know any sin to take on all of our sin. Oh, well, why do we need a Savior? Isaiah said, all are like sheep have gone astray. All of us. All have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. Whether you realize it or not, I don't care how good you've been. Well, I ain't never been arrested. I ain't never done nothing. No, nah, some of y'all ain't never get caught. But the reality is all of us have sinned. The only difference between you all and some of the folks from that place where you grew up was they got caught and you didn't. Wasn't because you were all that, wasn't because you were slicker than everybody else, wasn't because you were so smart, but it was the grace of God that brought you where you are. You ought to be able to say thank you because God brought me from a mighty long way. And just like he brought me, he'll bring you if you let him. See, the, the, the one who was without sin suffered for sinful folk. And, and it is now possible that sinful folk can be saved from sin and be treated like they're righteous. I know you're right. You see, people won't do that for you. No, no. What are you talking about, preacher? People won't let you forget what you used to be. I know you're right. Is that so and so? Mm -hmm. He was at the soul end, closed it out last week. Now I hear you up there singing in the choir. I, you know, what, 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 what's going on? It ain't none of your business what's going on. God working that situation out. God didn't call you to judge them. You don't know what was going on with them at the soul and you don't know why they were there. You don't know what they were struggling with when they got there. You ought to be thankful that God at least put them in a place where they're around some other believers. Hopefully some of them will rub off and eventually they'll get to the point where they don't need to go to the soul land. Wait, 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 let, let, let me kick that out. I ain't picking on young folk. Let me, let, 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 me, let me change my age group a little bit. They were at the dog track last week had five machines running at the same time. I don't know what, I don't know if they hit or not. Well, first of all, what was you doing at the dog track counting how many machines they were running? You need to look to yourself. If you've been delivered from the machines, you need to let them know ain't no future in that machine right there. Don't believe in billboards you see up and down I-85. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I, I, ain't, I ain't coming against the dog track. But you know what? If church folks stop going, they wouldn't have no business. Well, we on the air. Let me say this and offend some folk real quick. It never ceases to amaze me why they put gap gambling establishments in poor communities. Why is that? They ain't putting no casinos in East Chase. You know why they don't put no casinos in East Chase? Because them folk ain't spending no money on casinos. We have to understand that as, as, as ambassadors, that our message is that Christ died. He paid your sin debt. And you don't need to worry about being bound to sin because he already paid it. And all you got to do is receive the gift that God has given. And then we got to stop imposing stuff on folk. Yeah. God accept them just as they are. We got to stop telling folk, now you need to stop doing all that before you come up in here. All right. I know you're right, dog. I know you're right. It ain't our job to clean nobody up. That's God's job. Our job is to tell them about the goodness of Jesus. You catch them, God clean them. I'm almost through. I didn't offend everybody. That's all right. I love y'all. See, the mission of the ambassador is, is to be a representative. The message of the ambassador is that one who knew not sin became sin for us. Well, well, that's fine, but, but, what, but, but what's the last point? The last point is the manner of our service as ambassadors. 1 Corinthians, the sixth chapter, the first and the second verse. I want y'all to get this because there's some powerful stuff here. 
It says, we then, as workers together with him, also plead with you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, in an acceptable time, I have heard you, and in the day of salvation, I have helped you. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. See, see, we had to understand that, 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 that our mission, that, that our manner is one about being about work right now. Right now. Not putting it off where well, you know there are a few things I want to do. Then when I settle down, then me and the Lord can talk about it. No, if you done heard it, if you know it, if you accepted it, right. now is the time. We don't have time to be saying, well, I'll get around to it. Around to it might not get here. Now is an acceptable time. You got to tell somebody. Well, and I know some folks say, well, you know, the Lord ain't, ain't, ain't pulled me out of no, no burning automobiles, and, and he ain't pulled my head off a dying pillar, so don't, don't nobody want to hear what I got to say. I, I haven't been through anything so dramatic. Wait a minute, folks. Let's make this plain right now. Well, if the Lord woke you up this morning, and you went to the refrigerator, and you had something to eat, God been good to you. If you were able to go to class and, and when you stepped up to register that all your money was in place. Huh? God been good to you. If you get up in the morning and go to a job and hit that clock and ain't no pink slip next to your name when you get there, God been good to you. If you got a house to live in, that when it rain, the roof don't leak, God been good to you.